Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting the Windows Update Error 80072E2. So when you're trying to search for updates and you're coming into this potential issue, this tutorial will be for you. So the first thing I would suggest would be to open up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. And into the Start menu search, you want to go ahead and type in Date and you might have to give the start menu search results a moment to load here and one of the best matches should come back with date and time settings you just want to left click on that one time to open up date and time now for date and time if it's set automatically and the time is not correct you want to turn it off and then underneath change date and time you want to left click on change here and then change it to the correct date and time perhaps the set automatically is not properly working and maybe you actually have to change your time zone down there and then set it back to automatic it's important you just want to make sure your date is correct up at the top and once that's done try and, and proceed to rerun the windows updates and see if the issue has been resolved if you are still experiencing a problem, there's another thing we can go ahead and try and do, and that would be to open up the Star menu, just off on the Star button one time, type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match should come back to Registry Editor right above Desktop App, you want to right click on that, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup. So if you ever had to restore your registry back to before this tutorial, you easily can. In order to create a backup, you just would left click on the file tab up at the top left. Left click on export. Save it to a convenient location you'll easily be able to access. And then for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is usually a good choice. And make sure export range is selected to all and then left click on save. If you had to import it back in, or well, if you made a mistake, you just would do File, Import, and you just would navigate over to the file. So pretty straightforward. So once we are done with that, you want to go expand the HK Local Machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the selection. And then you want to do the same thing for the Software folder. Go down to Policies and you want to expand that one as well. Expand Microsoft. And now you want to go and expand Windows. Look for Windows Update, you want to expand that one as well. And now there should be a folder that says AU underneath. You want to go ahead and right click on that folder and then left click on Delete. It's going to ask you, sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys. Left click on Yes. Once you're done with that, close out of here. We're to just restarting your computer and hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing a problem, there's another thing we can go ahead and try, and that would be to open up the Start menu again. Type in Services. Best match should come back with services. You want to just select that one. If it says view local services, you can do that one as well, but I'm just going to select services here from this uh, best match list. And now you want to locate the background intelligence transfer service. Double click on it. If service status is running, you want to lock on stop. Close it here. And then scroll down to Windows Update double click on that and server status you want to left click on stop as well and then I would suggest left clicking on OK and then I'm going to minimize out of services here because we're going to have to come back in in, in a minute or so so once you've done that you want to go ahead and open up the start menu type in file explorer best match should come back with file explorer here left click one time So once you're in here, you want to go left click on this PC on the left side. And then you want to go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. Most people should be the C drive, but it should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive to indicate where Windows is installed on. Double click on it. And then you want to go ahead and double click on the Windows folders. Double click on Windows. 
Scroll down to software distribution, double click on that. Please note if you do not see the software distribution folder, you just left click on the view, tap up at the top here, and then left click on options on the far right side. And then left click on change folder and search options, and then in the view tab, you would left click on show hidden files, folders, and drives. So just so for some reason you didn't see it in there. And once you're in the software distribution folder, you want to double click on the download folder within there, and you can see the path in the top of this screen as well, so don't get lost. And you just want to delete everything in here, so just hold down your cursor and just drag over all of them. And then right click, delete, you use keyboard shortcuts as well, it doesn't really matter to me. And if you get anything that says it couldn't be completed, just select do this for all current items and then skip. Shouldn't be too many in there left. Close out of here. I'm going to open back up services that we minimized down through our taskbar a little while ago. I'm going to double click on the Windows Update service. I'm going to make sure that is turned back on. So if it's stopped, you want to click on Start. In Startup Type, you probably want to set that to Automatic as well. And then just do Apply and OK. And then you want to scroll up to Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Double click on that. Startup Type, Automatic Delete Start or Automatic is fine, either one. And Service Status, you want to start that one as well. And once you're done with that, left click on OK, and that should be about it. So let's just restart your computer, and again, I do hope that this tutorial will be able to get you guys back up and running with your Windows updates. Thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.